the better position I am, the more likely I'm able to count. Okay? So what this looks like is George is going to go for an Osotogari. Look, I block by leaning into this arm and going in the opposite direction of the Osota. Okay? He wants to go in this direction. I'm going to lean into the opposite direction. I'm going to bring my leg back and then sort of counter force his Osotogari. Okay? So he goes counter force Osotogari. Look, I block, I lean back. And from this position, I'm going to pivot off of this leg, back step, and throw him for Osotogari counter here. Another one that's really common is an Ochigari counter. Okay, my opponent goes for Ochi, and as he's coming in and driving me this direction, I'm gonna move to the side and then take him backwards. I'm gonna anticipate George coming in for an Ochi. As he's coming in, boom. Okay, I turn. It almost looks like it's a side. Another one that's very, very common is Uchimata counter. Okay, when I'm anticipating George coming in for an Uchimata, as he's coming in, so I'm gonna sidestep my leg and I'm gonna use my hand to wheel him over. Maybe we're sort of even in position, Maybe George is even winning in position and he's looking for a massive, massive Uchimata. In this case, look, I'm gonna sidestep and then let that leg go by, okay? It's a pretty dangerous maneuver too because if he guesses that I'm gonna do that, he could bomb me with a tie or a harai, okay? So here's what it looks like. Go ahead, Uchimata. All right, another one that's very common is sort of a Yoko Okare. You could do this off like an Uchimata, but really, really commonly you see Ippon Senagi. Senagi. Boom, look, I sidestep to the side, and then from here, look, I lift him, and then dump him over this direction. <laughs> right, he goes for dropping ball, say, now I move to the side, and then take him over this way. Okay? Right, sometimes you see it off Uchimata here. He goes Uchimata, right, boom, this way, right? I sidestep, and then take him over, up and around, okay? I like being in dominant position most of the time, so I don't have to sort of use those defenses, because a lot of his offense already shut down from there. I'm going to throw on a bonus counter that I really like. We're going to do Deashi counter. Hmm. It's so common. We're going this way. George is going to foot sweep me this leg. Look, Deashi, what? Okay, so I'm going to anticipate this. One, as he goes, look, I let the leg go by, and then I reapply a foot sweep of my own. One, whoop. Bang. Some of these are a little bit dangerous, so you really have to be careful uh, when you do it, especially the ones where you're throwing your body down, right? Any sort of sacrifice in movement, you're throwing your body to the floor, so you have to really be careful. These are five of the most common uh, counters you see in Jiu-Jitsu. Oh, thank you, George. Sort of a Tayatoshi situation. George goes for a Tayatoshi. Look, I'm going to step around, Kosoro, bang, and take him backwards. 